Hi guys, we're on warm24.com and today we are going to assemble Realme 8 Pro. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we use a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray for two SIM cards and a memory card. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can proceed to remove the back cover. To remove the back cover we will use a thin metal tool to hook and lift the edge of the back cover because the cover is slightly reset and then insert the plastic film into the resulting hole. We run the film lengthwise. Since the back cover has cracks going to the edge, we will again need to use a thin metal tool to make a gap in the crack areas, as wide and deep as possible so that we can then use a plastic film. This will also allow us to avoid additional damage to the crack area. And then we can use the plastic film again. We need to be careful around the camera score. Since the camera score comes separately from the back cover, the back cover is glued around the cover of the cameras. In the second crack we have an easier situation because we were able to use plastic film without using a metal tool. And we can now try to open the back cover. As we can see the back cover was removed before us and was glued on a sealant like a B7000. Only the gasket is presented on the cover. And we move on to unscrewing the screws. Use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm or hash 3 and screw the screws that we can. Then we detach the camera's cover. We hook the edge, pry it off and unstick the cover of the cameras. Since we have had the smartphone disassembled before, your experience with the detaching the cover may be different. And now we need to unscrew the screws that were hidden under the cover. Use the same Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm or hash PO. Let's check that there are no holes or covers under the film that would allow us to disconnect the battery connector. Move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. 
We won't unscrew the two screws that fix the speaker cover until we detach the middle cover. The screws are all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. If the screws are stuck, you can use tweezers to remove them. And we can start to detach the middle cover. We use thin plastic film. Run the film into the hole near the car stray hole and gently run it along to detach the clips. Always need to be careful in the area of the side buttons, because they are physically located there. And in this area may be located cables and they can be damaged. It so happened that in our case the smartphone was disassembled and the back cover was glued on the sealant. So it turned out that a lot of sealant got into the holes of clips and hooks that hold the middle cover. Accordingly, in these places we need to carefully detach the clips and hooks and not to damage or deform the middle cover or side buttons. And we remove the middle cover. On the cover we have contact pads and the antenna transmission lines. Then we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. In our case it is a tweezers with a ceramic tips. And after we unscrew the two screws fixing the cover with a speaker. And we can detach the speaker assembly. As we can see, there is also a vibration motor in the cover. And we disconnect the connector of the fingerprint sensor and two connectors of the interboard cables. The connector of the display and we must not forget about the connector of the coaxial cable. Then we hook the subboard by the edge and remove the subboard. On the board we have the headphone jack port, microphone, charging port and other elements on the inside. And in the display frame remains the fingerprint sensor and contact pads for the speaker and vibration motor. And we can detach the front camera. Traditionally, the front camera is glued to the copper foil for heat dissipation. Then we detach the rear cameras. The cameras are taped to the base of the display frame and to the motherboard. We also need to be careful not to damage the lenses. After that we disconnect the two connectors of the two interboard cables and disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable and remove the cable itself from its fixing clips on the motherboard. Then we gently hook around the edge and pull out the motherboard. At last but not least, we move on to detaching the battery. We unwrap the transparent coating and the green tab. As usual, we hold the display frame with our one hand and pull the green tab up with the other. As we can see, the battery is also held on the protective coating, which protects the interboard cables. And this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video.
Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.